how to avoid failing at weight loss. Why people fail? There are so many videos and articles about how to lose weight and effective weight loss systems that I figured I'd mix it up a little bit by focusing this blog post on the topic of how to fail at weight loss. Maybe by learning how people fail to lose weight, we can do a better job of focusing on and following through on the things and activities that actually help us to lose weight. In fact, Failure is the best teacher of all. Usually when you succeed at something, you don't know which factor helped in your success. This is especially true when it comes to making money. It's so easy to see how you lost money. It's very hard to see most of the time what part of your daily activities contributed to you generating a lot of success on a sustained basis. The same logic applies to losing weight. When you analyze weight loss failure, it is easier to identify the causes and also learn from the experience. Keep the following three factors in mind if you are trying to lose weight. They just might help you lose the weight that you are looking for. How? By avoiding them. Eating late at night. When you eat late at night, you actually boost your overall calorie intake at the very time your body can least afford it. During the nighttime, your metabolic rate dips dramatically downward. If you pair this with a huge surge of calories, whether through potato chips, cookies, ice cream, and other calorie dense foods, you actually produce net calorie increase. Your meta metabolism has slowed way down and you cannot burn most of these calories. As a result, you end the day with more calories than you began. When this happens, your body then converts some of these calories into stored fat. The more fat it stores, the heavier you get. Eating late at night is crucial to failing at weight loss. Eating salty and oily snacks. Salty and oily snacks tend to have high fat content. And to add insult to injury, Salty snacks also increase hypertension and water retention. So if you are trying to lose weight, the last thing you want to do is retain water. In fact, the human body is over 80% liquid, and most of the surplus weight you are carrying around is in liquid form. If you are eating a lot of salty snacks, this exacerbates your weight problem. Also, Oily snacks are packed with fat, and fat is a calorie-dense compound. To lose weight, you need to eat as little fat as possible. Spoil your sweet tooth. If you want to truly gain weight or truly fail in your weight loss plan, you need to eat a lot of sweets. Sugar is a very calorie-dense food. There's a lot more calories in a gram of sugar than in many other foods in their natural state. If you want to gain a lot of weight, you need to eat a lot of foods that are sugary, like donuts, cake, pastries, and so on and so forth. If you want to minimize your calorie intake, then you need to deprive yourself of your sweet tooth and focus more on high fiber and high fiber foods. Fiber is the real secret to weight loss. Fiber is the best thing you can add to your diet to reduce weight and improve your overall health. To see our video on the use of Metamucil psyllium fiber, click here. Saturday Morning Diet Works. Obesity doesn't have to be a problem in your life anymore. If you make an honest effort to eliminate bad habits, eat right, and exercise regularly, go to our website, joanbars.com, where we give you our meal replacement recipe for free and a 10-page weight loss report for subscribing. We also offer our three low-cost weight loss e-course packages at SaturdayDiet.com. Please like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash smdiet. Leave a comment below.
Thanks for watching. If you know someone who could benefit from this information, please feel free to forward it to them. Not a subscriber yet? Like what you've heard? Sign up to get future updates delivered straight to you. Click here to subscribe to channel. Subscribe to our website, joanbars.com. Until next time, Bill and Joan Loganiski, The Saturday Morning Diet. Please leave a comment below. If you've been helped by our articles and videos, please give us a testimonial we can use on our website. Please send it to saturdaydiet at gmail.com.